Tempers were flaring as families were trying to leave. Now, the outburst forcing the judge to step in as sides threatened, yelled, blamed one another for their losses. Words filled with anguish and anger cut through the courtroom as Cordante Walker is handcuffed and escorted out. The outburst sparking fury from both families. A poignant reflection of the deep pain and betrayal Luli Skimolin's mother is feeling. I loved you at one time. I accepted you into my family. And you promised me that you can be good to my daughter. You failed me. You failed as a man, a father, and a son. A bitter tone as Bobby recalls the trust she placed on then 23-year-old Cordante, now shattered and replaced by an overwhelming sense of loss. Luli spent the day celebrating her 23rd birthday on August 26, 2020, the last time her family would ever see her alive. The celebration took a horrific turn as a witness reported waking up to screams and seeing the young mother lying in a bush while Cordante allegedly beat her and then ran her over. It sucks. It hurts to know that we waited three years to not even get what we really were hoping for, which was an answer as to why. The courtroom is silent with the weight of their grief palpable in the air. Everywhere they look, they have reminders of happier times. Looking forward, there is a void, longing for the past and aching for a future that will never be. For my niece, it's, it's, it's hard to see because she comes up and we only got pictures. She says, I miss my mom. Luli's family has been waiting for this day for years to face Cordante. Today, he asked to face them. I truly, sincerely apologize. And how you guys feel needs to be validated. You feel me? So I just apologize. And uh, no love is lost on my side. I love all you guys. And you guys deserve this moment. A rare moment of humility as Cordante recognizes the irreparable harm he has inflicted on both families. His mother sharing her relationship with Cordante's father, saying they lived in a house of horrors, claiming their relationship had everything to do with his development and his explosion the night of Luli's death. And Cordante will have to live out the rest of his days knowing that it was at his hands the woman he will forever love lost her life. All eyes were on Judge Avril Rothrock, whose responsibility was to sentence Cordante. He was strangely cold, callous, and unmoved immediately after he ran over Ms. Kimolan. And I have determined to impose a sentence on count two felony murder of 17 years or 204 months. With the sentencing behind them, both families can now begin to heal. May the Kimolan and Walker families one day find peace and the judge saying that this is one of the most egregious cases of domestic violence the court has ever seen this of course winked weighing into the decision that of course was made today again Cordante is facing 204 months in prison for felony murder of Luli Skimolin and five months for unlawful possession of a firearm which will be served concurrently. He will also be tasked with battery courses therapy and he will not be allowed to drink as part of a three-year community custody sentence when he is released. Back to you.